Hi, my name is Nuda O'Connor and I want to talk to you about a couple of things that have just come into my head. Being a kinesiologist, I'm very aware that it's winter time right now and we are, what, four weeks off the shortest day, three weeks, three weeks nearly, off the shortest day of the year. That means that we, at, at, on December the 21st or thereabouts, that we have the least amount of sunshine or daylight possible to us. We're not far off it, we're three weeks off it. So if you think about it, from June the 21st right up to now, we have been decreasing, 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 decreasing in amounts of daylight that we have every day. So what that means for us lower vitamin D levels, lower opportunities to be out in daylight because we don't tend to go out when it's colder and it's damper and it's darker. And all of those things are definitely here in Dublin today. Unfortunately, we are energy beings. And when you're an energy being, you are affected by every other energy or vibration that's around. So our energy will be, will naturally want to stay indoors when it's darker and colder and damper. That's a natural thing for us to do. But we have warmer coats, we've got cars, we've got lights, electricity, we've got all of these things that allow us to go out. And so we're going out into damper, darker conditions. When we've got lower vitamin D levels, and what are we getting? We're getting viruses, we're getting fungal overloads in our system because it's in the air, it's around that's the reality for us. So that's one thing. Vitamin D. If you increased your vitamin D levels, and vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, the best way sometimes to take it is as an oil, and believe it or not, in through your skin. I tend to put it somewhere that I wouldn't put a cream or wouldn't, I keep it clear, and it also has not been washed off straight away. So I put it up on my arm. So you can just put a few drops of a very good vitamin D oil onto your skin, I absorb it that way. Magnesium. Halloween happened. And if you were like everybody else, you, you, you went big on the treats. That's what we do. We tend to have it Halloween, Christmas time, and it's dark and it's damp, and we're eating lots of processed sugar. Processed sugar takes all our magnesium and other very essential minerals, chromium, etc., etc to help break it down because it's processed sugar. It really does put our pancreas under vast amount of pressure. And when we use all our magnesium, etc., and vitamin D up in that way, then we don't have it for the essential other areas in our lives, like for our bone strength or for our immunity. So processed sugar does put your body under pressure. It does put your body under pressure. So try and stay away from the processed sugar, guys. And if you did have a lot of that Halloween, then you probably need to get yourself some magnesium, a good source of magnesium, liquid, capsule. My tablet, I say, is third, but don't go near it. I'll have a capsule that'll dissolve quick enough in your gut. Liquid gets in there straight away. Um, and if you're not sleeping, magnesium at night is a good thing. If you are and your energy is low, magnesium first thing in the day. So magnesium and D3. And of course, we're in the winter time, fungal infections and you know, and when we're in a damp environment, we are more prone to fungal overloads in our system. So zinc and vitamin C. Zinc and vitamin C are very good as well. So that's magnesium, vitamin D, D3 I tend to go for, um, and zinc and vitamin C. Essential. It is really good to pre-cook some warm, savoury foods like soups, stews. Try and keep them fresh, fresh is best, as in fresh produce, and, and have them there, and that you will eat those in the evening time because it's we need warmer foods when there's more dampness around because of the whole fungal overload thing. We don't want to feed that. Sugar feeds it, um, dampness feeds it, and stress feeds it. But also remember, we can get stress from our diet, from over-exercising, from not getting enough sleep, all of these things can also contribute to our stress levels and cause stress. So, they were my thoughts for today. It's dark, it's cold. We are naturally conditioned to go inside. If you're not, if you're outside more and more, that's grand, but be aware that you're in an overly damp environment 
and that's getting into your lungs, into your pores, and you could, if your vitamin D and your magnesium levels and your vitamin C levels are low and you're overstressed, then you could be more susceptible, your immune system could be lower and you could be more susceptible to picking up spores that are in that damp environment. And these days, it's really damp. That's all I want to say to you this evening. Like and share this video and tell people all about it. And if you want to know more about what I do, you can go over to my website, www.retuningme.com or HTTPS, if you want to use that one either. If you want to find out more about me, if you have any questions about anything like this, you can also book an appointment or get a quick check-in with me. I do free 10 minute check-ins if you want to avail of those over on my website or email me at nula at retuningme.com. Loads of options there for you. Have a good day, take it easy, and remember, it's damp out there, there's more spores, more fungal overloads in the system. Scarf, face mask, scarf around the face if you're gonna be outside in that damp weather. Stay in, get rebounding. That's what I'm going for next. Take care, bye.